Alrighty, how's it going, my guys? Welcome back. Uh, so, last week, I have to apologize for that. Uh, my hard drive crashed, and it had everything on it, including all of last week's videos, and all of my overlays, and everything, so I couldn't even, like, re-record uh, and upload anything, so... So yeah, uh, we have a new season on our hands. Um, I'm bringing back my old Escavalier team, but instead of uh, Dusk Loss, I have a Porygon 2 now. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, I bought a new uh, hard drive. It's a solid state external hard drive this time, so hopefully we won't have at least a catastrophic crash like that. The, the spinny part uh, broke on it. Uh, I think I broke the arm or something. I don't know, but uh, let's see. Uh, we have they have an Incineroar, a Ferrothorn, a Landorus, a Zapdos, a Urshifu, and a Grimmsnarl. Um, I would definitely say Tapu Lele would do really well here, and Lapras and Crobat. Uh, let me actually leave Lapras with Crobat and bring Lele in the back with. Um, Scavalier wouldn't be a bad choice either, as long as I can get rid of the, uh, Incineroar. Um, and maybe the Zapdos, because Zapdos tend to have Heat Wave. Yeah, let's do that. I actually really like that lead. I really like that, those choices. I need to get used to this team again. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used it. I need to remember that I don't have, uh, I can't rely on my, uh, Necrozma anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately. He has pink eyes. So I do some Grim Snarl. Um, let's see. Um. Let me max resonance the Zapdos and taunt the, uh, Grim Snarl. Has flower eyes. And now that now that this team doesn't rely too much on power anymore, uh, I can start relying on Crobat again. Cause I noticed near the end, like the last couple weeks of my the last team, I kind of stopped using uh, Crobat. Probably could have tail ended so I could get the max residence up first, but it's fine. I've not really had any problems with Zapdos in the past. Except for the one time where it crit my Zapdos or my Lapras. That was a uh, that was annoying. That was an annoying time. Excuse me. Oh, great. Um, there's a max lightning. Yep. Well, the fake tears is new. <laughs> let me let me go to the top of Lele, I guess. Can't really do anything else. And then I'm gonna try and just psychic the Zapdos. Tailwind. Set up a nice tailwind. Oh. Wrong button. Sorry. I hope that didn't disconnect me. <laughs> Let's 
Jacob Grimstone, I'll send out Cinderor. First battle in the whole thing, and what? <laughs> I'll say this again first battle of the new season, and I already lost. I wasn't afraid of Zapdos. You, again, you literally just saw that I had inner focus. I don't again I don't understand how people don't under, don't know what inner focus is. <laughs> uh, grant granted I can't say much, I've made a lot of dumb mistakes in the past. But if that was Dream, I would have knocked it out. But I don't really Probably run uh, Quick Guard on my uh, Crobat again. I used to run Quick Guard on Crobat, but uh, the Taunt and the Haze and Tailwind and U-Turn are all pretty important. I must have gotten really rusty over the week hiatus. <laughs> Lost 4 0. Yeah, this is via two parter. <laughs> I got S P A N K E D. Spanked. Yeah, uh, I'm not used to seeing fake tears, so I was not worried about it. If I, I probably should have tailwinded, like I said, got the uh, max resonance up first. Oh well. Alrighty, we got a, our first another opponent. Or some. Alright, no! <laughs> we have Zapdos, uh, Grimmsnarl, Amoongus, uh, uh, what's that thing called? Dragapult, Swampert, and Entei. Entei's an interesting choice. Um. Hmm. Let me... Let me use the Zap Lapras Crobat lead again. Tapu Lele. And... I don't really want a Scavalier. So I can't really hit anything except for the Grimstar. Eh, I can mess with the Amoongus a little bit. Um, I could bring Porygon too, just to try and, uh, stall, maybe. Alchemy can... I can bring Alchemy too. Uh, let's bring Alchemy. Uh, for some, uh, decorate shenanigans. Decorate helping hand shenanigans. Turn on Dragapult this time. Alright, 
We're gonna max resonance and tailwind. Although the Dragapult is still faster than my Crobat, so I don't think the Tailwind's gonna matter. I wonder what he's doing, because he doesn't seem to be Dynamaxing his uh, Dragapult. Snarls never run taunt. U turn. To who? Amoongus? Definitely going to be setting up a Max Geyser now. I'm going to U-turn out of Amoongus. Or out of Crobat, I mean. Or not. I just don't want it, uh... What's it called? Sporing me. I guess I could have just finished it off. But it's whatever. the Among Us with that then. And you turn on the Grim Snarled's turn. Yeah, I wonder what this Grim Snarled set is if it has Taunt and uh... Oh, Dragapult's getting hit hard. Um, I could go into alchemy, but I know that if I try decorating Lapras, he'll just uh, taunt it. So I go into Tapu Lele. The battlefield got weird, man. Oof. There's the Zapdos. Um. Let me just freeze dry and. Uh, I want to get rid of this Grim Snarl, because I know it's going to be annoying. But the Zapdos is going to be even more annoying. Okay. What I want to know is why do people use... I've asked this question millions of times, but why detect? There's no reason for using detect at all. It's infinitely inferior to uh, protect. 
you only get 5 PP, whereas Protect has 10, and it doesn't change anything. <laughs> you don't get any special protections for against anything, you don't get any special, like... You, there's no difference between Protect and Detect, except Detect has less PP. I yeah, get very passionate about my protects. <laughs> right, Tapu Lele should go before the Zapdos. So, when Zapdos is still out, I sh or I should still have my Psychic Drain up. Nope, never mind. I'm surprised that it didn't, uh, Rage Powder. <laughs> he set up Electric Train and... Um, let's see. I have Alchemy. Um... I guess I can just sack Lapras and get rid of this Amoongus. Of course you switch Amoongus out now. When I attack it with Psychic. Let me call back out Crobat. And bait the uh, taunt. And Moonblast. Or what I could do is Tailwind and Ally Switch. gonna nope I'm going to double into the grim snarl okay come on can't protect now, which is unfortunate. Really? That's annoying. So it's Sucker Punch, Taunt, and then Screens. You turn and Dazzling Gleam, that's all I can do. <laughs> Let's 
There's a lot of withdrawing going on. Uh -huh. uh, if I would have done that, I would have taunted the Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Actually, let me taunt the Amoongus. And then Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I, I forgot that I'm, my alchemy had Aroma Veil. Um, it's not a whole lot I can do. Tailwind. I'm pretty sure Alchemy can outspeed Zapdos at this. Yeah, it can. And your boot. Um, I can't live another one of those. It's just unfortunate. No! Why doesn't Taunt affect that? So annoying. <laughs> like, yes, I know, it's an attack. I think I'm just more irritated that I lost two battles in a row instead of that this was an actual loss. Rayford. It's an interesting choice for uh, Zapdos. Also, why have I found two Zapdos and Grimmsnarls right in a row when prior to even Season 8, there was never Zapdos or Grim Snarls. Like, what's going on? Why is Zapdos all of a sudden this god tier Pokemon? And why am I all of a sudden having troubles with it? <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um,. I will see you guys later. How's it going, my guys? Evian Ice here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and also subscribe and share with your friends. It'll help a lot. If you want to see more from me, follow me on Twitter or hit up my Redbubble site for some merch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.